Back goes Betts at the wall. He leaps. Again, he did. Unbelievable catch by Mookie Betts. Brings it back in. Robs Davis and ends the game. Speed. Power hitting, hitting for average, throwing, and fielding. Those five characteristics are used by baseball lovers to describe a player who is considered to be a five-tool player. There are very few players in the game that match those attributes, but there is one player you can bet on. He is known as Mookie Betts. In this video, we will look at the top six things you need to know about Mookie's extraordinary career thus far, his lifestyle, and his net worth. Number six, early life. Mookie's real full name is actually Marcus Lynn Betts. He got the nickname Mookie because his parents were fans of a former NBA guard, Mookie Baylock. Mookie Betts was born on October 7th, 1992 in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He lived in the town until he was 10 when he moved with his mom to Brentwood, which borders Nashville. Betts played on multiple teams throughout his youth and began travel baseball in earnest when he moved to the Nashville area. His father, who lived nearby, drove Betts to tournaments two or three weekends a month. By the time he got to John Overton High School, Betts' play made him on the cusp of big things. In 2010, as a junior in high school, Betts sparkled by batting 548 with 6 home runs, 37 RBIs, and 24 steals. He followed it up in his senior year by hitting 509 with 39 RBIs and 29 stolen bases. Betts' play put him on the radar for top college baseball programs in the South. At the time, a Boston Red Sox scouts in the Southern United States spotted Mookie's talent at some local tournaments and convinced Red Sox general manager Theo Epstein of the budding talent. Uh oh, there you go. I, I, I ain't getting this one, boys. <laughs> Get on your horse. <laughs> It is reported that Betts actually signed a letter of intent to attend the University of Tennessee, but later rescinded it when the Red Sox came calling. The Red Sox drafted Betts in the fifth round and 172nd overall. Betts initially struggled with the transition to professional baseball in Class A. In the season, he hit 267 with a 352 on base and 302 slugging percentage in 71 games for the Spinners in 2012. Betts survived his freshman year in the minors and advanced to Single A Greenville to start the 2013 season where everything changed. He was more comfortable in Greensville, South Carolina, which is only a five-hour drive from Nashville. It made it easy for his friends and family to support him as a young man. His career quickly took off in the Boston farm system as he was named Offensive Player of the Year and Breakout Player of the Year in the Boston minor league system. By May 2014, Betts had switched position from second base to the outfield due to his athleticism and the stabilizing presence of star player Dustin Pedroia at that position. On June 28th, Betts got the call young players dream of when he was told he would be be going to the big leagues. The next day, he faced the long-hated rivals, the New York Yankees, at Yankee Stadium. Even though later in the year he was optioned back to AAA, he returned in August 2014 for good. Fun fact, from a young age, Betts always had an innate ability to observe something and then imitate it, sometimes better than he was shown. For instance, in April 2015, he was fooling around with a Rubik's Cube when he began to teach Wade Miley how to solve it, but then Betts took the cube, which is notoriously difficult to solve, and finished it, matching the color size in just a few twists. In fact, he can align the cube in just two minutes. Yeah, that's an impressive feat. Number 5. Baseball Contracts In 2011, when Mookie was drafted, he earned $750,000 in signing bonuses to buffer the risk of passing up university and becoming a professional. In 2014, he received another salary of $254,000 for that season. According to BaseballReference.com, Mookie's starting salary for his first full season in 2015 was a measly $514,500. Due to his stellar play and dynamism, his yearly earnings grew slightly to $566,000 in 2016 and 950,000 in 2017. In those back-to-back -back seasons, Mookie had a combined 380 hits, 55 home runs, 215 ribbies, scored 223 runs, and played a ridiculous 311 out of 324 games. His value to the team certainly exceeded what he'd been being paid, and Mookie took his game to another level in 2018. I'm on the next in that year, he put together an MVP regular season by having a 346 batting average, 32 home runs, 80 RBIs, 30 stolen bases, and 180 hits. He also led the Red Sox to postseason glory by winning the World Series against the LA Dodgers. By 2018, Mookie had made three straight All-Star appearances, had won three straight Golden Glove and Silver Slugger awards through 2016 to 2018. 
problem was that he wasn't being paid like a star player, because his earnings in that 2018 MVP season were only 10.5 million. In 2019, the team failed to repeat their prior year's success and failed to make the playoffs. However, Betts was still his stellar self by earning another Silver Slugger and Golden Glove while earning a decent value at $20 million. The team had tried to lock down Betts to a deal starting in 2017 when they offered him a $200 million deal and then a 10-year, $300 million deal after his MVP season in 2018. Betts at the time said he was holding out for a $400 million deal. The amount sounds ginormous, but he was now the second best player in the MLB, and the current best player, Mike Trout, had signed a $430 million contract. Ultimately, the two parties failed to agree to terms. However, rather than to let their star outfielder just walk into free agency, the Red Sox pulled off a blockbuster trade with the LA Dodgers to send Betts and David Price and some cash to the LA Dodgers for Jeter Downs, Alex Verdugo, and Connor Wong. The advent of COVID prevented Betts from getting the $400 million deal that he deserved, but he did sign a cool 12-year and $365 million deal with the Dodgers, or a yearly average of $30.4 million. He showed his value instantly with this new club in leading them over the hump to their first World Series championship win since 1988. The way that you're hitting this year, it's just, yeah, it's just like so that. much yeah. sauce. <laughs> so please continue tearing up the AL and tearing up Major League Baseball. Yep. Number four, endorsements and net worth. One of Betts' well-known endorsement deals is with Axe Bats. He was the first MLB player to sign a contract with the pioneering bat manufacturer. Betts declared that Axe Bats were the most comfortable bats he had ever swung. Another endorsement deal Monkey has is with the Jordan brand. In November 2018, he was featured in a Jordan brand ad that featured commentary from Betts' parents, Diana and Willie, who discussed how their son constantly defied expectations on the athletic fields. In 2019, the Jordan brand released the Monkey Betts Jordan 9 cleats red and gray colorways with the number 50 on the back. In March 2021, Betts, along with a group of MLB players who were all Jordan brand athletes, appeared in an ad called Here for a Reason to speak up against racism. Another endorsement is with Body Armor, which is a premium sports drink marketed towards high-performance athletes, both professional and amateur. With his achievements on and off the field, CelebrityNetWorth.com has Monkey Betts worth $50 million. That figure is poised to increase with his current massive yearly earnings and more endorsements likely to come in in the LA area. Fun fact, Mookie Betts is also a pro bowler. No, he's not an NFL all-star player, but he is actually a professional bowler. He honed his skills from his mother who loves the sport. As a result, Betts was named the Tennessee Boys Bowler of the Year in 2010, having set Tennessee high school records that season with a 290 game and an 827 three-game series. He took his career to the next level in the sport by competing in the Professional Bowlers Association World Series of Bowling in Reno, Nevada in 2015 and 2015. 2017. Who would have thought that he would be just as good at hitting strikes out of the park as he is at throwing them down the alley? This one right here, my dude. <laughs> I like my, I don't even remember what I kept, what I put on there. But this one to me says like, uh, you know, I keep my mind and my balls out of the gutter. That's what this one says to me. I like that. Number three, cars. Unlike most superstar athletes, Monkey Betts is quite a humble dude. His car collection starts with a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. The car has features that include a 6.2 liter V8 engine, seven speed manual transmission, 455 horsepower, rear wheel drive type, ABS, and a driveline traction control. The car has a starting price of $59,900. He also drives a BMW 7 Series. The features of this car include a twin power turbo 12 cylinder engine, 600 horsepower, automatic, eight speed transmission, and all-wheel drive. The price of the BMW 7 Series is at 86800 and rises to 103000 Number 2. Mansion after being traded and signing a long-term deal with the Dodgers, it was reported that in November 2020, Betts purchased a mansion in Encino, Los Angeles, California. The property costs a whopping $7.6 million, and it was previously owned by NFL coach Chip Kelly. It is convenient because it's only 20 miles away from Dodger Stadium. The house spans about 9,300 square feet, with nine bedrooms and 10 bathrooms across two stories. A motor court with two garages approaches the crisp black and white exterior. Interior. Highlights include a chandelier top dining room, marble kitchens, indoor outdoor living room, movie theater, and walk in wine closet with a candy machine outside. At the back, there's a cabana with a TV that adjoins a custom swimming pool with a spa and nearby conversation pit. A guest house and sports court complete the property. Number 1 Philanthropy and Fiance 
In August 2017, Betts brought together his baseball teammates and professionals from the Professional Bowlers Association to participate in a charity match. The event raised $150,000 for Pitching In for Kids, a nonprofit that raises funds for New England youth sports programs, and One Mission, a pediatric cancer charity. In August 2018, after Game 2 of the World Series while with the Red Sox, Betts was spotted with family and friends delivering food to Boston's homeless outside the city's public library. It wasn't the first time he was feeding the homeless in Boston's frigid weather. Betts didn't seek out any publicity for this act of service, saying it wasn't supposed to attract the attention it did. Betts paid a lot of money to help other people in 2020. In May, it is reported that Mookie Betts surprised shoppers in his hometown by paying for their groceries. Then in June, he partnered with a nonprofit called Pull Up Neighbor to distribute reusable masks and other essential items to those in need in Tennessee and surrounding communities. In August, he joined forces with the Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation and Pull Up Neighbor to do the same in Compton, California. What a guy. After winning a second ring with the Dodgers in November 2020, it is reported that in January 2021, Betts added yet another ring by proposing to his longtime girlfriend of 15 years, Brianna Hammonds. In a caption on Instagram celebrating the moment, Betts stated, Winning another World Series was great, but putting a ring on my MVP is the real blessing. I'm a blessed man. Brianna has been by my side since we were teenagers. Together, we've grown mentally, physically, and spiritually. She is my best friend, mother of my child, my lover, and my soon-to-be wife. Yes, rising from anonymity in Tennessee, the 5'9 Mookie Betts is certainly living the life with supreme talent, a big contract, endorsements, a beautiful fiancé, and a genuinely humble heart. What do you think of Mookie's lifestyle? Is he one of your favorite players? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to smash that like button for this video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.